Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Elden Ring in the bottom of the world. I can't think of a place much further down than here. We have traveled so, so far downward. Downward, downward, and I guess there is still a cave over there going a little bit further down. So we will go investigate after resting. And probably getting a level here in the Garden of Deep Purple. I think it is time to continue. On our little faith journey. And then keep going down. I am not expecting this to go much further. This might literally be it. Whatever this is. Hello? Um. It is challenging to get a read on you. My oh my. It is a flower. But it is also Saint Trina. Just incredible. I see. I see. We can imbibe the nectar here, and I see. Okay. Um, maybe that's the only way we can understand you. Is if we are equally sleepy. St. Trina Disciples Cookbook, number three. A record of crafting techniques left by a disciple who pursued the teachings of the saint of sleep. Yet what seemed a gentle sleep at first ripened into velvet. A lulling branch. Is that... What is that? Lulling branch. Here we go. Slowly builds up sleep while gradually restoring FP. Ooh. A tree branch blessed with a velvety purple incantation. Pierce oneself, causing a gentle buildup of sleep. FP gradually recovers during this time. When the sleep reaches the threshold of causing temporary fogginess, no FP loss is incurred. In the midst of drowsiness, there is the will to awaken. Feelings that rise from the depths of one's heart. Man, that's cool. Um. I see a lot of bloodstains back here. And that... Also... Concerns me. Um. Um. One thing at a time. I am a little worried for what happens with me when I imbibe this stuff myself, but the visual in front of me here is a very compelling argument for trying it anyway. All right, nap time. Oh, I see. We're not drinking the concoction. It is literally the nectar from this plant, which does kill us, but then what happens? Oh. Um, we're here again. So, like... Hey. I guess this is why they tell you not to just eat plants and berries and whatnot you find out in the wild. Um, 
guess that explains all the bloodstains over here. What is... So this plant over here is not gatherable. I guess a fair number of these lilies aren't. Um... Can we talk now? I mean... Maybe I just did it wrong last time. I'm sure that on a second attempt... Nope. Still poison. Still very, very poison. But what if? Maybe we're building up a resistance. Playing the long game. I'm sure with enough tries. This wouldn't continue being an option if it couldn't possibly lead to something. It do still be killing us, though. The one downside about it is dying a lot of times. Wait, that's different. That part is different, usually. Maybe it's just because I was quicker. This time around. Um, I'll do it one more time. And if the same thing happens, then my next thought is drink Teolier's concoction first. Maybe we should try that. That was different. That time was different. I think I'm getting better at holding my nectar. At least long enough to hear a few words. Never has clicking on the same Souls NPC over and over and over to make sure you've heard all their dialogue cost so much of us. The things we do for lore. This is fascinating, and I crave more. 
If this isn't just the Souls player experience in microcosm, go forth. Spot something cool. Try something. Die. Repeat forever, but keep on getting cool snippets and tidbits, which only draws you to go forth and do stupid things again and again and again. I know we can revive endlessly, but this seems like this can't be good for us and our long-term health. It's gonna have side effects. You must kill Miguel. Grant him forgiveness. Oh, Leto's not gonna like that one bit. So, um, I don't suppose I could convince you to talk a little faster. Not that I'm not enjoying our time together, it's just... This conversation takes something of a toll. I think we finally hit the loop point. Grant him forgiveness. Anytime you click on one of these videos, you're... Guaranteed a very good chance of seeing me die a bunch of times. And maybe find some cool NPCs and hear some cool dialogue. Usually, those three things don't combine in this specific way. <laughs> it's all so cool, though. I love all of this. This was a worthwhile trip to come back for. Just amazing. You want me to bring you back anything? Some books? Fertilizer. I'll come check on you later. So, what are we doing now? Having found this, this feels like... This feels like reason to... Try chatting with some more people who we at least know where they are. Oh, these folks may have left. A lot of folks may have left, or moved on. Guess we should check. At the very least, Teolia is gonna- yeah, we should check in with everybody. Who... might still be around. I feel like some people are gonna want to know about all this. Yeah, I kinda figured you'd moved on. These two, though... Where do they go? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Um, you? Still here? Not murdered by Leda? Love it? Um, oh, I, I had something I wish to tell you. I'm heading south. I've recalled something that Sir Moore said. He discovered deep purple water lilies blooming on the southern shore. That must be where St. Trina was left to wither away. About that, um... How good are you at reviving? Yourself, I mean. And how many times? 
This is important. I'm heading south to the shore Sir Mo mentioned. Okay, well, I um I think I'll meet you there. Somebody in comments said that there was some other place I could drop down to from here that I hadn't seen or been to yet. Like, it might not be anything important. I just did see somebody mention that there was something more out here that I'm not done. And like, I know about the swamp down there, but I get there by other means. Still not seeing anything, but the fact that I've not had tons of people insisting I go back here immediately suggests that whatever it was is probably fairly minor. Okay, well, uh, since you're leaving, actually, that's easy to test right now. Let's sit and see if you leave, and if you do, we better head south and to check up on you. And gone. Okay. To where? I'm going to assume you end up here. Yeah. Tell ye. Bud. Hello? Hmm. Not here. Uh... Maybe you got this far, or maybe I need to meet you somewhere along the way first, but let's try this. Tiole! Congrats to you if you got down here. It's a lot of jumps. Buddy? It's very dark. Hello? Not here. Maybe... Bud? He's probably way further back, isn't he? Tellier? I mean, maybe he's just here now. Centrina. Oh, hey! Centrina. What velvety ambrosia is this? Your poison and the sweet sleep that follows. Oh, please, let me hear your voice. Um, in my experience, just keep at it. If you can. Then you, too, must have paid a visit to Centrina's garden of deepest purple. I'm drifting off in the sea of her poison. Soon, I will hear her voice. Let me be. I won't be long. Well, um... Careful. Enjoy, I guess. Do you want me to just tell you what she says? That seems easier. Oh, I almost forgot. You mustn't follow my example. Um... Centrina's poison would plunge you into an eternal slumber. It must be me. And only me. Built different, are we? Well, you could have warned me earlier. Ten deaths ago. Oh, thank you not to lie to me. I am the Chosen, not you. Only I can doze off in the Sea of Centrina. Why would you hear her voice when I cannot? If you should utter these cruel untruths to me again, I, 
I won't be held responsible for my actions. What are you going to do? Not that I wish to fight you, but even when you're not doped out of your mind, you're very small. Again, this feels like the choice that doesn't move the quest forward, but, um... What happens if you witness me doing it? This is just sort of the ultimate idiot move. It's like, yeah, no, I can do it. See, watch. Glug, 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 die. An acquired taste, this stuff. Yeah, I remember. See? Told you. I too can imbibe this stuff. I really shouldn't. Never utter these cruel and truths to me again. Well, you leave me no other options. that I can think of. I'm trying to think, there's like no, the only other NPC whose story has any overlap with yours at all is Sir Moore. I don't know where Sir Moore is. I guess we can go look. Let's go look first. I feel like the thing to do is try to pass on the words again, and we probably will, but let's go find Moore and Ansbach first. Because maybe, maybe, maybe there will be something they say or do that changes things. Maybe they're here. Or... Well, you're still here. I will follow the home sense. Eventually, I guess. Yes. Huh. Where do those dweebs go? That might have gone further. Like maybe, the, maybe everyone's kind of heading up this way now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there is someone that we've not checked in with yet about the Saint Trina news who might be interested. So, hey, you'll never guess what I've been up to. Stay seated, it's a heck of a story. Be on your way. I'm going. I will hear no more about this. Fine, I've got good stories for other people. I died like 12 times drinking the same thing. But despite what you're going to tell me, no, it was a good idea. Oh, hello. Is something the matter? Um... I'd like to study sorcery, please. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. Well, your loss. Um man. I really want to I want to tell Teolier again. But that does seem li like we get the warning the first time we select that of do not lie to me again or I won't be held responsible for my actions. And then we are basically given the are you sure follow up. And maybe that is the thing to do. Maybe that's the only thing to do. 
but it does feel like a, it feels enough like a, are you sure <laughs> selection box that, um, well, I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I am wondering what else I could do or find that might change things there. So before advancing that quest, maybe prematurely, let's get back to exploring and at least try to find the rest of our wanderers. Maybe that will help something. We do have plenty to do, like everything else I was planning to do this week before I got sidetracked by so much interesting stuff. There's far more mundane things to do, like go find something I missed apparently. Hang on. Is this a spot? I think it is. Yeah. I feel like some folks in comments were... Wanting me to come back and check these waterfalls here. I think it was these waterfalls. Hope it was. Because apparently I missed something. I don't know how important the something is, but... Enough people mentioned it that... Probably worth checking. When I see, like, just one person mention... Oh, hey, there was a thing you missed. Usually I take that to mean... Okay, well, there, I'm sure there was, like, an item of some sort, but... The fact that it's just one person suggests that it must not be a super important one. Because usually when it's an important one, there's like five, six, seven, and or 20 or 30 people. <laughs> All saying, you should go back. <laughs> there was a thing. Go back. <laughs> Please go back. And so go back I have. Let me wander around and see if I can find anything different. Hmm. There are a lot of people, like... ...jumping on these rocks behind the waterfall. <laughs> Indeed so. But, um... Don't know if that's it. Hmm. Wait. Wait a minute. Might have spotted it. Might have spotted what folks were talking about. Maybe. Or even if it's not what folks are talking about, I might have spotted a thing. Careful. Careful. Yeah. Okay. 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 This. I see. I almost forgot. I need to. I do need to go and uh, upgrade this one. Let's see. It's kind of overkill, but. Um, oh, maybe we just aim for this. There we go. Now we grab whatever that was. Careful. Mushroom Cellar's bell bearing. The bell bearing of a horn sent to Mushroom Cellar who did not survive the war. Offer... To gain access to toxic mushrooms and white flesh mushrooms. Cool. I don't know for sure if that's the only thing that I missed. I'm going to assume it was. But if I'm wrong, and there is something else equally or more important back here that I am missing, do let me know. Now... Next. Next stop. Where are we going? We are going... Honestly, let's go back here. I've not really explored much around the perimeter of this place yet. Let's... let's... do that. Yeah, let's just run around outside a bit, see if there's anything of note.
Might not be, but... It would be foolish to not at least look around. you guys. Quick, take them out before they flail. There we go. And in addition to poking around here, there is one other... That's one other thing that I don't even really know what to do about it, but between... Some kind of cryptic things mentioned in comments and an item description. I. There's a weapon I got quite some time ago that has an interesting description that might. It sounds like that weapon has a quest involved with it. I don't know what to do about that yet, but it is interesting and it makes me want to try a thing or two. Once I'm done poking around here. That's a bit more of a drop than I thought. Ouch. Sorry, Torrent. Pardon me, dogs. I have fought so many of you. I do not feel the need to fight more. Yeah, this feels like a lot of nothing. Let's go further up top and check out the rest of this. Incredible looking place. What was it originally for? It was this... Like, it's the place that Emir is set up now. But was this a Karian or Rhea Lucarian construction? Like, a place for them originally? It looks much more like a chapel. Or is it something that he's sort of hermit-crabbed his way into and the original occupants are all gone? Hmm. What a giant expansion to this video game. In the best way. Emir certainly has left a whole lot of these mannequins around for defense. Don't think I examined this earlier. Probably just more... Yep. That's usually what we find at those. What's this? Examine remains and... Oh, another one of these spots. Nice. Very nice. We do need to go and check and see what this could actually be turned into. Glad to have another of these, though. So... Actually, here. Okay, this... While we're here, that this is as good an opportunity as any. The weapon I was talking about is this. Uh, the stone-sheathed sword, which we got in one of the jails. It was very hidden. Uh... And when I was reviewing the description... 
a sword that none can pull from its scabbard of cracked stone, relic of a lost civilization from a time long past said to have served a ritual purpose at altars of light and darkness. And that's interesting, the altars of light and darkness thing. I'm wondering if there's like a way to get the sword out of its scabbard, and if the altars of light and darkness are the key to that. That's several ifs, and I don't know. I don't really know what the altars of light and darkness would be. Are they these? Should I hit, like... Can I hit these? No? I don't know. I, I want to keep an eye out for things which might be described as altars of light and darkness. Now, to see if this sword does anything there. Because maybe not. Maybe this is just... Maybe there's like an NPC that this sword's involved with. Or maybe this sword has nothing going on and I'm just... Misinterpreting cryptic comments again, but I don't know. It's a thing I want to keep an eye out for. The surroundings out here, though, seem to mostly consist of more marionette soldiers. And I don't think we're going to find much on the outer walls of this place, but I guess we get to look. Could and should look. No. Quit it. Not seeing much, though. It is just a really cool location. Wait. Well, it's not much, but... Something. And if we'd happened to come back here looking first, would have been a uh, cute little teasing hint of the theme of things we were going to be uh, <laughs> discussing further inside. Let's keep looking north of here then. I think... There's not much else other than an entrance that is, I think, going to take us inside the Black Keep, and I don't quite want to go in there yet, but... Let's at least, like, check the rest of this off the list, right? Do everything up to the point of going in. As a big pack of wolves. Guess we can go up on top of it, too. Because the entrance is down here. I am holding off. Probably being overcautious. But it sounds like that keep is a location that advances NPC quests. And maybe it already has. Like, maybe, maybe that's what the uh, Great Rune going away did. Maybe that, maybe that was the uh, thing everyone was warning me about and that it's already happened. But there's no harm in being cautious. I think we've covered all this. Uh, let, let's go up on top of it. Let, we can get up on top of this cliff over the uh, 
gate entrance here. Let's see what's up there. In the interest of being thorough. Um, oh. Whoa. Hello. A lot of graves for a lot of troops. What kind of, whoa, what? What kind of troops are you guys? Whoa. <laughs> Ow. I kind of love this silliness. This is very, very silly. Not now, jump scare birds. You down. Stay down. Who are you clowns? Gotta be Mesmer soldiers, I guess, given the location. But a very special variety. Drop a clue. Nerd. Stop. Ow, that hurts. That really hurts if you actually manage to land the hit. Ah, can't reach. Die. Stay dead. Thank you. Down. Stay down. Awesome. Ah! No. What a goofy bunch of skeleton knights. Who taught you that silly move? Wonderfully bizarre. Yeah, shocking number of those living in death up here. A lot of them. Wide variety. Nope. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, you looked like one of those, uh, catacomb like clue statues. Yipes. From a distance. But nope, just regular skeleton. Please stop. So you all have that flying move, huh? It really hurts. Down you go. Down you go. Ow. Sorry, Torrent. Stay. Down. Stay. Down. Okay. That was a lot. Gimme. Blessed Bone Shard. A part of my brain is still kind of cycling on the altars of light and darkness thing. Trying to think back. And remember anything I might have encountered before that matches that description. Hey! Another pest. Hello. Never 
did I expect to see the day where I would be looking forward to spotting any of you, ever. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. You keep doing what you're doing. All of the living and death folks we're seeing up here leads me to suspect that inside that keep is a real skeleton fiesta. Something to look forward to, and probably not that far from now, because there's not a lot left up and out here that is not the Black Keep. I think really the only thing left that I can figure out how to reach is this little stretch down here. Which I figured out how to get to, but uh, avoided just because I didn't want to get too close. I think we can rip that band-aid off now. There's also down here, but darned if I know how to get down here yet. So that one will have to wait. I don't think... I'm just really wondering where people are going to be now. It's the NPCs who've moved. Where would they go? Hmm. I guess they wouldn't hang out here, not in a... Soldiers camp, that'd be stupid. Not a smart place to be. Well. I think that tomorrow... Tomorrow we're gonna go check out this little poison nook over here. That'll be nice and fun. Just to see what all's there. And then if we run out of stuff to do there, then... In that case, I guess it's time to start moving up on the keep. I got no other ideas. We didn't even figure out how to like, get down here either. I guess there's still also a lot of... There's still a lot. We'll get to all of it eventually, won't we? Well, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for... Whatever awaits. A goodbye!